Though, whatchamacallit? One morning, Peep, Quack, and Chirp discovered something very odd. Okay, stay behind the duck, everyone. It looks dangerous. Jingles? Let me see that. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What are you talking about? There's no jingle. Now I have something that makes an incredible sound. It's a, uh, uh, a whatchamacallit. What's a whatchama thing? Well, it's fascinating, at least to the, uh, smarter animals. But what is it? It's a kind of, uh, uh thingamabob. <laughs> yeah, they're very rare, very unusual to find one. Wow! Can we see it? Well, it's in my secret private treasure storage area. You'll have to walk very far and climb very high. That's okay. We were made for climbing. Let's go. Actually, they weren't made for climbing at all. But that's a minor detail. Oh, look at this place. They've ruined my organization. <laughs> there we go. Come on up. I'll, um, I'll just uh, keep an eye on things down here. Yeah. Watch and learn, Pete. Uh. Watch and learn. You know, a nice pond does not have these problems. Quack, 
You're doing great. You're almost there. Whatever you do, don't look down. Sliding down the old gutter pipe. <laughs> oh yeah! The raccoon, meanwhile, kept up a relentless search for the thing. You know, the hoozy. What's it? Yeah. Ah, oh, I give up. Everything slides down. But nothing slides up. That's true. You've discovered a flaw in the system. Watch. No matter how hard I try, I can't slide up. Hmm. Oh. Put me down. Oh. to slide. I don't think you can anymore. That's right. One end has to be higher. Like this? <laughs> yes! Higher! <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes, but I have a thing or two to say to that raccoon. Ah, I found it! Come here! <laughs> That's the whatchamacallit? Yep! But it's just a squeak toy. A what? A squeak toy. Nellie has one. Oh well, gotta go. Catch you later. That was a lot of work for nothing. At least we got to slide. Now that's what I call a whatchamacallit. Me and Salmera. Throw. We made a ramp with a book and a ball. The ball rolls down the book pretty fast. I'm using my leg as a ramp. My leg is a good ramp. When I move my foot like this, it turns different directions. See? We have a ramp made out of a book. We have a finish line made out of a book, and we have two balls. This ball is heavy, this ball is light, and we're going to see which one wins a race. Three, two, one, zero. The wooden ball hit the finish line first. I wonder why the heavier wooden ball won the race. These are about the same weight. But one is bigger and one is smaller. I'm using a bigger ramp, and the little ball goes pretty far. 
I wonder why the bigger ball went further than the little ball. We are making a kind of bowling game. Go. See what happens when you play with different kinds of ramps and balls. <laughs> well, it's a sunny day. I feel brand new. There's about a million things that I could do. Whoa, would you like to? Is an egg. Mm. One spring morning, Pete, Chirp, and Quack were all standing on a branch having a marvelous time. I am so bored. Okay, Peep and Chirp were having a marvelous time. Quack was bored. Watching squirrels, ants, falling leaves, I get. But eggs? I mean, please. Hmm? Bored. Bored, 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 bored. They're getting ready to hatch. <gasps> Aw, it's so tiny. It looks like a baby me. <gasps> That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen! Look at that! He's talking to me! Hello, little guy. It's me, Quack. I'll be your Quack, your very first duck. Quack. Can you do that? Quack was so amazed by what he'd seen that he couldn't stop talking about it. Incredible! Did you see how he just smiled at me? If I didn't know better, I'd say he was a duck. Where do eggs come from anyway? From birds. So birds come from eggs, and eggs come from birds? Uh, yeah. Now that doesn't make any sense, Chirp. But that's okay. They're too young to know better. Hey, you want to know where eggs come from? They come from cartons, like that one. There aren't any eggs in here. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh! Ah! Here you go. A genuine, all-white leather duck egg. Not too many of these around. A duck egg. In white leather. It's just what I've always wanted. Really? It's yours. Catch! <laughs> Be careful! What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm making a nest. <laughs> Trying to hatch that thing? Of course. You know, I'm not even sure it's an egg. Nonsense. Think it's ready? Quack, you have to be patient. I am patient. How about now? I think you need to wait a long time. 
Maybe I'm sitting on it wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. twilight of my years. You know, bouncing on my knee. Oh, Quack. Maybe we can find you a new egg. A new egg. That's it! Let's go! <sighs> Here, egg. Here, egg. Here, egg. White and round, and it's the right size. Ouch! It's hard as a rock. That's because it is a rock? Hey, check this out. It's white, round, egg shaped. Huh? Huh? Be careful, that's a. It's not a rock, and it's not a balloon. Hmm. It's a duck egg for sure. Let's get it back to the nest. Quick! <laughs> Hold on. I've never seen an egg with red lines like that. <sighs> That's no use. I'll never find an egg. I've looked everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> Face it, I'm eggless. Quack! I'll never find a white, round, smallish thing that's not a rock or a balloon and doesn't have red lines on it. Never, never, never. Quack! An egg! <gasps> an egg! It's an egg, all right, but I don't know if it's a duck egg. Of course it's a duck egg! What else could it be? Before you know it, I'll be teaching Quack Jr. all about life in the big pond. I'm bored. Bored, 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 bored. What? Peep! Chirp! Wake up! It's hatching! Stand back! Give him room! Hello, baby Quack. How's my little baby quack? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 young duck. Before you go near the water, you need to learn about... Um, quack? You see, son, a duck's life is not easy. It requires strength, discipline, and big flat feet. Hmm? Quack, that's not a duck. What do you mean? I hatched it, didn't I? But he doesn't have feathers, or a bill, or a hat. Give the kids some time. Hey, come back here, son. I need to pass on my wisdom. Quack, he has four legs and a shell on his back. He's a turtle. A turtle? All that work and I hatched a turtle? It was a good try, Quack. Uh... Well, at least I learned where turtles come from. Where's that? From ducks. Yeah. What are you talking about? Turtles don't come from ducks. They come from eggs. So, turtles come from eggs and eggs come from turtles? Um, yeah. 
That's Maggie, me, and Karan. Our school is hatching chicks with an incubator. The incubator is a thing that keeps the eggs warm. I think that egg is gonna hatch first because it's pushing out. We can see its like beak starting to pop out. <gasps> oh, wow. This is so exciting. You can do a little chicken. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it would be bigger than that. It looks like it's using its foot to get out of the shell. The chicken's feathers are black and a little whitish, and they look kind of like wet and gooey from the stuff inside the egg. This little chick seems to be very tired, because all day it's been trying to break out of that egg. Later that day, we had a few chicks. They're not even one day old, and they can already drink, walk, and eat. When it hatched, it looked like fur because it was wet, but now it is dry, so it looks more like feathers. The next day, we took the chicks back to the farm. Try visiting a farm or a pet store to see different kinds of baby animals.